とってもいいことだと思うわそれそれは繰り返す破壊と再生崩壊と創造の神話祈り満ちる久遠の世界に最後の神は君臨し続けるフェイトグランドオーダーコスモス・イン・ザ・ロストベルト創世滅亡輪廻ユガクシェートラ好評配信中 Hello, everyone. Welcome back for some more Let's Play Fate Grand Order. We're continuing on through with section 13, The Price of Loss slash Divine Judgment Looming. Neither of those sound great. Honestly, both of those sound like a problem. Thankfully, it looks like we're just going to be fighting some Kali, so everything should be pretty okay if we、uh, do this properly, which is grabbing、uh, Ketsushika Hokusai. And also grabbing、uh, you guys. Yeah, right? Like, look at this. This should be perfect. Let's、uh, take this off because I don't need to switch. Instead, let's keep leveling up our.、Uh, what level is our anniversary? We're at four. Yeah, yeah, it shouldn't take long to keep leveling that up. So I do like this costume for what it gives. So let's go. The fact it synergizes with Merlin is. Kind of sick. I love it. I know it's just basically giving you Saber's abilities, but still, it's kind of sick. Oh boy. Kali Yuga Doobie Lumen. Hey, how's it going? Not bad. Many of them are in good shape thanks to farming and hunting. I doubt I can train them each to kill Kali alone. But I am sure I can teach them how to survive in battle. Alright, l it's time for lunch. Just make sure none of you have too much to eat. And you don't want to get bloated. Here's your lunch, Father. Thanks. Guess what? I helped make it today. Auntie even said I did a great job. Isn't that great? Thanks. Also, um, you know how the anniversary of my birth is coming up soon? Never mind, it's nothing. See you later. Boy, you're kind of a terrible dad. Like, for real. Oh, it's you. Hi, guys. I, I, I mean, I get it. Look at the context of the, the world that they're in, but still. Oh, hi, Asha. You brought your father his lunch? That's so responsible of you. Heh <laughs> heh. How are things in town? Really different. It's so surprising. My father's spending a lot more time here now. It feels really lively, too, though. In other places, it's、uh, really a quiet. It looks like the town has been split cleanly in half. There are more people who support fighting back against the Kali now, but not everyone has joined in. On the one side, we have people from Deval, along with the people they inspired to join them. And on the other, there are people who are still holding on to their old beliefs. I've noticed a lot of people watching from a distance and whispering among themselves. Who knows what they might try to pull? There are going to be even more Kali as the Yuga cycle goes on. I'd like to think that more people will decide to join us once they see us fighting. Our ultimate goal is to reduce Arjuna's power by getting people to realize how imperfect and unnecessary of a god he is. So I certainly hope a bunch more decide to join us or we'll be in big trouble. We should be hoping to win over the rest of this town, then keep that momentum to win over other people here. We can't devote all our time to convincing those holding out, but we also need to train those who have joined us. Whatever else may happen, we can't let anyone else be killed as long as we're in a position to help. Looks like you're pretty much over it then, huh? I don't know about that, but I do know what it is I need to be doing right now. What's more, I know now there's something else I need to keep my eye on. There's someone already walking the path I need to follow. I may not fully grasp it, but I understand well enough to know that I no longer have the option of hedging my bets. We still don't know her secret, so. Anyways, hi, you're looking at me? Is that me? What? Hold up. I think you're gonna have to postpone the training for now. I'm seeing a number of signals making their way towards town. Looks like more Kali. It would seem they're all warmed up and we're raring to go now that it's the final day of the Vapara Yuga. Here they come. Brorg. Alright, everyone who's ready to fight, prepare for battle, but remember your ultimate goal is to survive. Don't try to be a hero. We'll be handling the hero stuff. I mean, the front line. So there shouldn't be any issue with them joining us, right? Like, don't be a hero. We're the heroes here. Preparing Ortnax for immediate combat. All systems green. I'll try to draw as many of them towards me as I can. Awaiting your orders, Master. Alright, here's your order. Why? Do the fight. 
beat him up, win. We'll see how it goes. I mean, honestly, with with these guys, I'm not too concerned about what happens. They're pretty easy. I mean, I say that, but I'm pretty sure we're going to see, like, whoa. Whoa, there's nine of them. Okay. Um, we're going to see something like, you know, a super Kali later on, I'm sure. Because in the uh, the opening movie, the, the trailer, the commercial for this, which you see there, you do see Akali, and it's freaking massive. It's not the size that I think... Like, these look like normal, like, alligator size, which is still big, because alligators are huge, right? I honestly have no idea how people can live in places where they're like... Like, how, people who live in, like, Florida, and they're like, oh yeah, we can walk down the street, like, you can't let the child leave the house because they might run into an alligator. Or, sorry, a crocodile? I don't know. Either way, it's like... Like, that's kind of scary. I can't imagine that. Like, I guess here we have, like, wolverines and coyotes and stuff like that, but... I don't know. <laughs> it seems kind of scary. I mean, mind you, if you run into a moose here... It's not, you know, not a problem unless the moose is like you're in a car, in which case it is a problem because moose will literally like if you crash into a moose with your car, you're getting a new car. The moose is walking away fine. That's just how it is. I've literally been eating moose these past four days. So my mom's on vacation now and we're just frying up all our moose because she refuses to eat it. And my dad left today, and he's like, okay, make something with the moose. And I'm like, I don't know what to make. So I think I'll make probably a moose curry again, because I like my, my curries. But, like, it's just it's so good. It's such a good thing to eat. It's just, just a shame that I'm, I'm eating it too much, you know? When you eat too much of something, it kind of makes you not like it as much anymore, you know? So... Alright, let's do some of this to wipe out the wave here. And we'll do two, three. See how this goes. Well, I, cause I don't know if this will kill them all. Mm, yeah, it will. Those last hits, they, they do more damage each time, yeah. All right, three left. Yeah, just regular, sequentially more powerful versions. So let's go do your power up. All right, pop that. We'll pop that. Give that to you. Give you that. And let's go... One, two, you know, let's go two and then three, because you'll get a bunch too. It's worth it. Do the big hit, let's see. That's death. I did quick maths, you're dead. Yeah. Wow, you too, huh? Nice. So I think we're oh are we only Buster down now? Because we got back the other element? Let's see here. No, Arts and Buster is still down. Okay. Um Which is fine, because we're still still doing good. Alright. Nice job. Did you just say Jojo Jojo? Is that a JoJo reference? It is! There's, there's the arrow! Haha! -ha. It's not. I know it's not. Don't worry. Listen, them all fighting! Mm, I see. So they're really going after Faith, the Achilles heel of every god that shows themselves before mortals. How delightfully cold-blooded it could just it could be just the surgical strike they need. Even if they don't have time to pull it off, it's certainly making things more interesting. I got that nobody believes in is little more than a doomsday device, and one even ordinary people can destroy at that. 
Still, I have to wonder. Are they aware that everything they're doing may ironically speed up the whole paradise without people living here? Oh, because he's going to be like, well, if no one believes in me, then people are a problem and wipe them out. Uh-oh. There you are. Ugh. Seeing you pisses me off. Oh, hello, Asvadamin. What brings you here? You know I'm here, damn it. I'm here to clean up your mess. You've been taking things Arjuna erased all along with their owners at the end of the Kali Yuga and putting them back to remind other humans they existed, haven't you? I have. What about it? I was under the impression that I was doing exactly what your god would want me to do. There's nothing wrong with rooting out people holding on to unnecessary attachments to their defective past lives. Granted, I won't deny I enjoy the looks of despair they get when they realize they can't even remember who they lost. But the point is, I'm helping to find undesirables so we can end the yuga cycles ahead of schedule. I don't care how you get your kicks, but it's hard not to be pissed off about how much more work you're making for me. It'd be one thing if you were just defect if you were just defectively uh, getting in the way. But now that you're making this much more trouble for us, I was told to handle you directly. Huh? Just a minute. Explain to me how my work is being anything less than helpful. This particulars aside, it should be exactly in line with what Arjuna wants. You thick-headed god who's so drunk in his divinities have got what human feelings are sh should be complimenting me like. What an incredibly capable woman you are. You're the goddess I've been searching for for my whole life. Your alter ego friend told Arjuna all about how your actions are directly fueling the resistance movement that has been gaining traction. That's really the one bit where I sympathize with you. It sucks having your friends sell you out. Now I see what's going on here. So that's how the monk wants to play this. What an ugly, petty man. That's the difference he'll never make up between him and the other Omnioji. Putting aside the question of whether it's more trouble to deal with an arrogant bastard who'd knowingly keep a deadly parasite around just because he can, or a rotten parasite himself who will try to murder you outright in an ambush. A mere servant thinking he can kill me? The idea is so infuriating, it's almost depressing. Oh, we're seeing a bit of her power. He calls himself a destroyer just because he was able to take up the other gods and order a few regent servants? Ridiculous. I would never lay down and die for a being who can't truly, ever truly become a pure destroyer of words, worlds, let alone one of his pathetic lackeys. The emperor who has embodied all of humanity was one thing, but I can destroy a mere warrior like you with just a few bites. <laughs> well, what do you know? Yes, you've got a bit of rage in you yourself. Fine by me, go ahead and get as mad as you want. I'm pretty furious I've got to put an end to someone I have no desire to kill. As your friend must have put it, Arjuna's all we need to end the world. There's no room for a walking disaster like you here. Nice to do a bit of establishment that, yeah, she's actually powerful and not just conniving, right? Because you might just get the impression that she has very little power, like, throughout playing this, if not for something like that. Boy, jeez, I wonder what we're going to fight. Let's go and do some more fighting. Actually, wait, it could be could be something else, potentially. Uh-oh, never mind. It's time. It's been a whole day, huh? Oh, boy. It's the Kali Yuga again. Hope we can escape in the border with more time to spare this time. Agreed, but I expect things will be okay. This town knows how to do more than just pray now. We will just help them as we can, then make our escape when the time is right. They should be more than capable of surviving until the next Yuga cycle begins by then. Oh, well, speaking of Kali, here comes another wave now. I'm sure it'll be fine. Like you said, these people have all been training. Wait, something's not right. Wait, are those Kali swarming together? What's going on? Oh, Kali fusion! I was right! What the hecking heck? They just merged into a new giant Kali. What the hell is that? I've never seen Kali like that before. Why is this happening? Are they making themselves strong because we decided to fight back? Stay back, Asha. Okay, be careful, father. This isn't good. We only taught these people how to handle normal Kali. That giant one is a whole other league. It's a shame we won't be able to help them with the other Kali. But we're the only ones here who can handle that giant. Let's go. I knew there'd be a bigger one. I knew it.
You heard me. I called it out. And no, I have not been looking at a guide. I refuse. The only thing I looked at for a guide is how many chapters there are. That's it. Otherwise, I have legitimately no idea where this goes. I just like to know the pacing, right? And I'll do that for games where I'll literally be like, okay, how far am I through? Right? I'll just take a look at a guide to be like, you know, where am I roughly at? That's all I need to know. I don't need to know much more than that. Okay, we're gonna need to be big and buff to, uh, to get these guys done. Not these guys, the bigger one, mostly. So let's go one, two, three. There you go, you're done. Okay. Let's go, because we'll get our healing pretty soon. You know what, let's... Let's do that. That should kill him if it crits. Yes, it does. Very nice. You're good. Swagger, death down, and curse. Okay, so let's go. I don't need any more with you. Let's do some of this, then hopefully get you a little bit of at least residual meter. Yeah, get like three points. That's about all you're going to get. Can you bite the other two? Thank you. Okay, so let's go. That should be fine, because we can give Hokusai hers with her super there. Or, well, not her super, but her skill. To use her super. Okay. I'll give you yours. Alright, let's see. Yo, that's kind of sick. Ali Sanga, yo, that thing's that thing's rad. Like, I, it, it, it's like a fusion without being a disgusting monstrosity, kind of. I mean, you can sort of see the claws working together, kind of as a monstrosity, but not fully. Okay, so get that for your meter. Go defense down. Go blue up. Let's do extra attack. Let's go. Extra attack. Also extra attack. And we no buster. Okay, so let's go. Let's go. One. Two. Three. Alright, let's give this a shot. See how much we do. This will be nice, because, like, the nice thing about this is not only does it give us healing and sea stars, but it also ups our overcharge level, which is going to be nice for... I don't know if any of these even will be affected, but I hope they do! be nice to get some extra damage. Big defense down. They okay, didn't kill them all, which is good, because then he only gets one move. And let's see. Oh, so close, so close. Big slam. Okay. Alright, just be careful. Let's pop that. And let's go one, two, uh, one, you know what? Pop some stars. Pop a uh, red, because you got it there. Pop a red, because you got you can get it as well. So we can go one, two, three. Hopefully we hit some big crits on these. Nice. Nice. That's some big damage. You see those numbers? Hot dang. Wow, those are some numbers. I did not think we'd be hitting that much. Okay. Nice. Well, we got you. Yeah, that's cool. That looks like a... That's that's a sick redo of that enemy. Makes me happy, because I I feel like some of the redos and upgrades for enemies have been kind of disappointing, but that's a good one. There, it's dead. How are the people doing? Huh. 
There's nothing more I can do. Let's get out of here. Okay. Father over there. Uh, please help me. My leg got stuck in the rubble. Please, God, I'll pray to you as much as you like, I promise. God damn, Ulu. Uh-oh, they said not to be a hero. This isn't my fault, I know. This is all the gods will, it has to be. Ugh. Father, father! Don't cry, it's no big deal. I'll just have to get used to limping for a while. No point in me trying to fight anymore. Let's go find a place to hide. Hold on to me, father. I'll help you walk. Are you okay? Does your leg hurt? You've really grown up, haven't you? Oh, well, sure I have. I guess that makes sense, seeing how you turn 4,000 days old tomorrow. We'll have to celebrate. He remembered. Definitely not, because you brought that up to him. You know? Okay. Once again, I dream as I close my eyes. I dream of an impossibly tragic war, taking place for impossibly meaningless reasons. A pointless war that wiped out an entire clan out of existence. A war that swallowed the land whole, claiming untold numbers of lives. A war that trampled the souls of countless brave warriors underfoot. Utara, son of Virata, died. His brother, Shveta, was killed by Bhishma. Bhima killed the king of Kalinga. Virata's eldest son, Shenka, also died. All 100 of the princes died, one after the other. Iravan was killed as well. I killed Bhishma with Shikandi's help. Abinmayu was also killed. I'm trying my best, guys. So many dead, so many killed. Death and killing, killing and death. Over and over and over. I saw countless friends and allies die. I saw countless enemies and foes die. Once all my thoughts had passed me by, and all my emotions had been drained out of me. I was left with only one question. Why? Hey, hey. Hey, good, you're finally awake. I didn't know you slept too. I know this is short notice, but I need a new power. Hmm? It's like I told you in my report. Yama's power wasn't helpful at all. Come to think of it, it's probably because he's similar to Hades. I may have spent my time hating him without realizing it. So I need you to lend me another divinity. Yama alone isn't going to cut it. Of course, this would be strictly to help me with my research and to help me uphold the laws of this just world. So you can understand that my request is completely justified, right? A trivial matter as all things are. Uh-oh, looks like they're getting new passive buffs, which is not going to be nice to fight them with. Oh, geez, I wonder what we're going to fight then here. Looks like multiple types of enemies. Damn it, I didn't expect him to give me another job as part of the package. Oh, well, I guess I can't really focus on my research until they're taken care of anyway. Does that mean I can trust you to deal with them? I know I brought some sacred beasts along with me, but I can't let the Kali run rampant either. Part of our job is making sure that judgments are handled impartially. Any imbalances need to be corrected. Especially seeing how there's a whole new giant Kali I've never seen before now. Maybe he's the Alpha or something? Suit yourself. You're staying outside of town, right? It's none of my business what you choose to point your crossbow at. <laughs> Actually, I'm tired of picking off targets at long range. Feels like it dulls my instincts, you know? I just can't get in my usual hunter mood that way. I remember that taking shots from extreme distance isn't my thing. I'd much rather stay at a comfortable hundred paces or so. Are you sure those aren't the after effects speaking? Huh? I may have perfectly healed your physical injuries thanks to my medical expertise and his abundant magical energy. But even I can't help you with your mental ones. The memory of your precious arrows failing to find their targets. The abject defeat you suffered as an archer unable to land a single shot on your intended target. Those are the kind of things that leave a deep, permanent mark on your spirit origin. Much as I hate to admit it, even I can't cure that. I don't know. I've never been especially sensitive hunter. I just think sticking my preferred range will make things easier for me. 
At any rate, I'll take care of the Kali in town and come back you up when I'm done. Honestly, now that I have the power of two gods to work with, you hardly need to bother. This is like being able to do two different operations simultaneously. I can handle even the most difficult patients and hum at the same time now. By the way, something I've been wondering for a while now. What is it? It's nothing major, mind you. I was just curious why I was the last Lokapala summoned is all. You already had Neza, the son of the great Chinese hero Li Jing, and you, the legendary god of medicine from Greek mythology. Not to mention Asvadamin, the heroic half-incarnation of Shiva from the Mahabharata, was here even before you two. It's with all those amazing mythical figures around. How do you pick an ordinary guy like me as the final Lokapala? Beats me. Who knows what a god that pure could be thinking? Besides, we don't even know if he summoned you on purpose. You have to ask him or the alter ego about that. There is every chance that you were only summoned by sheer coincidence. Don't worry about it. I. It's so funny that, like, from day one, fate has been gotcha. Like, literally, the whole thing about summoning the servants in the original fate is literally what it... Like, it was gotcha from the start. So, the gotcha being part of the storyline is hilarious, because it's true. Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. But in case it wasn't a coincidence... There was just something about your posture that told me now might be a good time to think about it. My posture? What are you talking about? You know, I don't even know myself. I guess it's just my hunter's intuition. We get it. You hunt animals. Jeez. There really are a lot more of them on Kali Yuga, and that's not all. Sacred beasts. Yes, and they seem to be even more worked up than usual. Does this mean... Of course it means one of us will show up, though not the same one as last time. But as I've already been compensated, I suppose I can make a house call. Asclapius! We heard you walking up! Arjuna's quite generous as gods go. All I had to do was ask and he gave me a new divinity. I wonder if people noticed I made his ass clap in the thumbnail last time. A new divinity? Okay. That's the same one you were using before! And now, there's this. I still have issues with the idea of gods, but at least this one isn't Greek. It'll help me. If it'll help, keep, help me keep making progress, I won't hesitate to use whatever I can. Is that water? Water. Oh no, he's got Varuna, the god of water. That one might be an even better fit for him than Yama. Oh, it's gonna be healing water, right? Varuna was the regent of the West, and he was famous for using medical science to save people. Yeah, it's gonna heal, huh? Oh boy. He's using that water to enhance his sacred beast's strength. Must have some sort of medicinal properties. Oh great, so he's doping his attack beast things with divine steroid water. I bet it's gonna give them some completely broken regen ability or something. Oh, it's gonna be a huge pain in the ass, I can tell already. Look, I enjoy a brutally difficult grind fest as much as the next gamer, but at some point it gets too hard to even bother with. Stop whining. The people of this town have finally found the will to fight back. I'm not going to let these things ruin that. Not on my watch. We need to prove that neither this false god nor his underlings are invincible. They can, no, must be defeated. We're the ones who showed them this path and started them along it. Now we have to show them what lies at its end. Even if he does have a new divinity at his disposal now, it's still no more than a tool. Something more or less tacked on to use the modern parlance. Even if this new divinity does pertain to healing, uh, the damage to Asclepius' own spirit origin is not the sort that can be recovered from in a day. Not when Asclepius himself has the divinity of his own. In brief, it is eminently possible that he has not recovered from the damage he has sustained in your last battle. That could be just the advantage you need. I wish I could give you some more helpful instructions, but I'm afraid that's all I've got this time. That's more than enough, Holmes. Master, we're up against Asclepius and his two divine div and his two divinities. I know he's a formidable enemy, but yeah, we're still gonna win. We got this. Foo -foo! You're welcome to try, foolish patience. At this point, I've both conquered death and gained the power to heal people with godlike power. Despite not being a god myself, I've never been more capable. Maybe now I can cure that idiocy of yours just as well as I can everything else. Time. Time to beat you up. Alright, uh, let's go. So he's gonna be that, right? 
So we definitely want to have a good rider at the end, at least. Um, God, why do you guys all have grinding stuff? I don't want grinding stuff. Let's see. You'll be good to suplex him. Then otherwise, let's just go with a strong team. Actually, no. Let's go with uh, my kill... Kill Rider team, or kill, yeah, Kill Rider, because then you guys will be there, you'll be good there, but we're also going to bring up, we're going to switch you out for a four-star, we need a four-star Saber, you'll do well, so we can bring you up for now, and uh, yeah, so we'll get some Sabers at the front, can I afford to change you out, I could probably afford to change you out to Saber, if I, yeah, do that, then we got you in the back, so you guys will be up doing damage, this is a 12, so we can give you instead... Uh, let's go with uh, Fragment. We can change this out for another one that'll... We'll give you a 9, and then it should be good enough. Uh, what's a good 9? We can give you Noble Phantasm Gauge and Crit Strength up. Sounds good to me. And, uh... Actually, let's switch you out for our Merlin. Because not only will you be good... To, to, to attack that one assassin, but you'll be helpful there. And then, we will get this switched out for our battle outfit so we can do the switch when necessary. Right? Yeah, that's the plan. That's a plan! So we'll do, yeah, attacking with you for that those ones, and you for that, and then once we get to the end, we'll switch out one of them. Sounds good. Let's go. Let's do this. Boy, it's loading a lot, huh? Okay, so let's see here. Okay, so just a random assortment for the first one. Cool. Yeah, let's depend some on the skeleton and not the thing that we actually kind of worry about. You know? Okay. Alright. Yeah, we're going to use these two to charge for sure. Swagger. The exaggerated swagger of a angry Kali. So let's go some of this. Get y'all some stuff. Okay. Oof, that damage. Calm down. And let's go... One, two, three. I don't know if this will kill, but we'll see. I might... No, okay. It's fine. Stop hurting my boy. So let's go. One, two, three. That'll get Merlin to start healing if we want. Yeah, nice, 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 nice. Uh, Sarama, Kali, Kali. Okay, so let's go. You're gonna be a problem, but we can do a full combo with you, so. Jesus. You can start with that. Okay. Good stuff. Disaster ending roar just completely whiffed entirely. No, Merlin. Um, you know what? Let's have you target get targeted there just just to get Merlin some good healing, good healing vibes. And you know what? Let's wipe you out. Yeah, let's wipe you out here. Cuz uh you guys deal extra damage. Good stuff. fine because you are defensive so let's go hey let's do another one of these why not it's good big good strong i love i love him ripping through stuff okay all right um yeah pop this for now and let's go one two three Get as much as you can. 
nearly there. And the nice thing is we'll be able to start the next one with full Noble Phantasm. Okay, so let's go one, two, three. Sadly, this Merlin does not have multiple levels because it is my Merlin and I only have one. And the fact I have one alone is enough. I mean, it'd be nice to have more, but it's not a huge deal. Okay. So let's see here. We'll do a full combo. And I, we'll, we'll, I think I'll just stick with... Ooh, there's a lot of you. I think I'll just stick with... Um, him for now. Because we'll just try. So let's start with this. Buff... Should we make him do as much as we can? Nah, it should be fine. Because then the next turn he'll have a big combo, which I like. So you know what? Let's Well, let's give you the one that gives you more C-star drops, right? Gain C-stars each turn. Which one increases your drop rate? Gain C-stars for yourself. Does this one give you drop rate? Increase your gather rate. Well, that doesn't matter. And this is just generate. I, I thought you had one that makes you get more. That's fine. Um... So should we do critical strength up? No, we'll hold on to that to get an extra turn. Increase C-start gather. Now we'll hold on to that. Okay, that's fine. So for now we'll go... Um, you know, let's go one, two, three to get tons of stars. Like, tons of them. Rip through. Let's see. Hopefully you get big stuff. That was actually a lot. That was a good, good attack. God, if I can give him crit strength up with Merlin too. Hoochie Mama. Spamton has ruined me for saying that, I gotta say. Charge gain. Oh, remove debuff. That's not good. So we gotta watch for that. Ooh, he can do big heals for them, so we gotta we gotta get rid of him first, huh? So let's go like that. Do you have red? You do, so let's give you that. Buff you fully. Because you're gonna go big dumb strong. Uh yeah, that's good. Okay. So let's go. One, two, three. You love to see those numbers be so big. Debuff resist noble. Oh, okay. So that seals noble phantasm. You gotta watch for that, huh? Okay. Um. Is that just one? You know what? Let's do. Because yours is. Because his isn't the one that hits. So then that should be fine to pop this. So let's go. Um, actually, you know what? Let's go with, um, let's, well, no. Because I, I, well, if I kill one of these, I don't know if I will, though. So that's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll focus on you. Let's go one, two, three. Get you some more meter. 43 stars, bro. Water God's secret medicine. Remove debuff. Crit rate up. Okay. It's fine, we're all him invincible. And that raises their defense, okay. Alright. Uh, we still got big hundreds, huh? With you. So let's go... One, two, three... Big, big hundreds. Good damage, and let's see how much here. Oh, your s Lancelot is so good. Nearly gave Mash enough for a super, yo. Okay. Um, I'm gonna stun you so that you can't use that. Haha, -ha, fool. So let's go, you know what? Um, pop this. Let's get you, let's get you to do a full mash combo. 
Are you not? No, let's go like this to get even more red up. Because your your last hit won't do as much as the bonus, I think. Aw, oh, so close. Alright, yeah, because, I mean, I played enough video games to know. Take out the healer, right? That's obvious. So let's go... One, two... And then let's kill you with three... Good stuff. I like how neither of these noble phantasms will actually deal damage, so we're just like... Just doing it. And... Yeah, you're out. So now we just got those guys to deal with. No, mashy mash. Okay, so let's see here. Well, here's Protea. Here to wipe the floor. And let's go... You know what, let's... Uh, yeah, it's fine. So let's go with... Um, Arendite. And then get you a bunch to do a super. Hopefully. Once again, some big nice numbers. You should get enough for yours here, right? Yeah, I like to see the hundred. Oh, it still keeps going even with him dead, huh? All right, that's interesting. Uh, so then let's buff you. Let's buff you. Let's buff you. Let's now do big. Let's go one, two to guarantee that kill, and then three, four on the last one. Okay. Big damage. I think you only need one to get the buster up for this. It's not like the size increases exponentially. That'd be really cool if it did, but it doesn't. Big hit. Wow, big hit. Look at that. That's some good strategizing. Alright. I wonder we finally killed. But, let's see. Let's see, are you gonna actually go away? What's wrong, sacred beasts? I know you can keep going. Come on, get up. I'll keep healing you. <clears throat> What's going on? Uh, Rumbly's in my tummy. In short, you're neither a pseudo-servant in a special vessel, nor a naturally occurring divine spirit amalgamation that made all the difference. I remember what happened with Neza. Neza intentionally chose to- oh, Whoa, hell, oh, you became British for a second. That's the wrong voice. Hmm, <laughs> James from Pokemon. Neza intentionally chose to overload her spirit origin, but you've done a decent job of it without even trying. Not only are you bearing the brunt of two divinities on a single servant body, but one of them is boosting your already perfect healing abilities well beyond your, their limits. You've obviously been pushing yourself way too hard. And since you don't have some special background that lets you handle that kind of load like Arjuna does, this was only ever going to end with you destroying yourself. I'm pretty sure Arjuna knew that too. What? That can't be right. Why would he do something like... A trivial matter as all things are. He doesn't even care. Damn it. So that's what he meant. He didn't care what might happen to me. I'm... I'm has complete... I'm has completely inconsequential to him as anything else. Oh, that's a typo. Calm down there, guys. That damn fool didn't appreciate the value of medicine any more than any of the other idiot gods did. There was just something about your posture that told me now might be a good time to think about it. I see, so that's what he was going on about. Maybe I have been the idiot all this time. 
It's ironic, Asclepius. You sought a world where one would never die just for excelling. And now you've excelled so much in your pursuit of power that you brought about your own death. I uh, can't believe I've got something so fundamental. Even medicine can be harmful in excess. I neglected to walk that line and now I'm paying the price. What an embarrassing mistake. Speaking of things I forgot... Hey, before I go, just tell me one thing. Do I seem that strange to you? All I want is to advance medicine for the good of all mankind. Women, children, the elderly, everyone should be able to benefit from getting the treatment they need. Whoa, don't tell that to the United States of America, they disagree! All I want is a world where you won't be an outcast just for excelling. Excellence shouldn't be a crime. You're not wrong. There's nothing strange about your stance. I think any hero would feel much the same as you do. But even so, I'm not quite sure how to describe this, but... You don't get to talk about that kind of thing when you're working for jerks running this world. At least that's how it feels to me. Of course, my feelings are also Ganesha's feelings right now, so they do carry plenty of divine weight. The more a god thinks such things without any reason, the more worse it that is, huh? Hmm. That's possible. Maybe the lack of self-awareness is what I need to treat. Something that you'll never know, because I'm dead now. Goodbye. We won. Though I don't know what he kept muttering about even as he disappeared. What an odd man. Asclepius' spirit origin has completely vanished. We've beaten him. We did it, Master. Foo-foo! We did it. Damn, they got him, huh? Well, I've just wrapped things up with the Kali here. Might as well go and avenge him. Really? Right now? With this much time left on the clock? Okay, well, we gotta be careful then. Sounds good. So, uh, that's good. Hey, nice. The price of divine loss. Uh, so, looks like we're dealing with... We need some strong lancers. So, we're gonna go with... You know what? Let's go with one two because we'll keep you away for now and we'll switch you off with another lancer probably our best one is honestly parvati here um because you'll deal with the first things and then once you're done dealing with as much of them as you can then we can switch out sounds good okay let's go i like how it keeps saying i'm gonna switch out but i don't but i could if i needed to Right. Father fell asleep after I took him to the healer. That means he'll be okay, right? I wonder if there's something I can do to help. Asha picks up a gun. You want to help? I don't know, you're still just a child. We can't give you a sword and there aren't any other weapons you can use safely. You can pray, of course. Go on, close your eyes and pray as hard as you can for our god to help, but he won't be helping. Hmm... Look how bastard, it's William Tell. Oh, so you're coming to face us yourself this time? Actually, that's about the distance I prefer to operate from. Besides, this is the climax of the hunt. Can't just pass up a chance like this when my quarry's already weak and exhausted. A hunter doesn't feel bad about bringing down their prey. We feel accomplished. We are in a difficult position having fought so many Kali and Asclepius. I would much rather we had time to recover before our next showdown with William Tell. I'm sure you'd like that, but the thing about hunters is that we don't let our quarry escape. Traps, wind, climate, scent, baits. When we decide to bring down a target, we make sure to use whatever it takes. And if we let a wounded animal get away, well, there's no greater shame than that. When that happens, we just have to accept it's God's will and resign ourselves to going to bed with an empty stomach. Oh, uh, looks like we got no choice but to fight. Right, we'll just have to settle things right here and now, Master. If you yet to fully recover from the last battle, you should still have a chance. But it won't be an easy fight by any means. Hang on there. Well, at least we don't have to worry about him sniping us in extreme range anymore. But he can still control the wind as he likes thanks to Vayu. Keep your guard up, Tana. There's no telling how he'll try shooting us with his ad- She'll try shooting his arrows at us next. 
Pepe has been remarkably on our side. To a point where I legitimately have no idea when and if he's going to betray us. Because I feel like he may. Still. It's still in the back of my mind. But like, I actually don't know if he will. I feel like he has to by the end though. Right? I mean, and look, look at him helping us. He helped us with the Dawoon and the Garuda. So, hey, that's nice. So let's start by taking out probably you first, just because you have the most HP. Do the most damage that you can. Okay. Yeah, we can get her to, like, get real big. That'll definitely help us by the end there. Let's go one, two... Actually, no, let's... Because I feel like we might be able to kill, so let's go like this. Probably not, actually, because we're still lowered down on our blue, it looks like. Yeah, no. But hey, good meter. Okay. So now let's go one... Two... Yeah, let's do this. Kill and get stars. Okay, so... Uh, hey, another full combo. Don't mind if I do, honestly. I'll deal, hopefully, some good damage if we get those crits, too. Nice crit. No crit. Nice crit. Final hit. So close. Okay. So we can kill him, for sure. And we'll go... One, two... Actually, let's go... Because we, we don't need that. Let's go one... Two... Three to do as much damage as we can. Nice. Good. Okay, we're gonna get the target focus on... On you. But then we're gonna get you to... Actually, should be fine. Uh, let's go one, two, three. Those little small heals. They all, you know, work together. Purifying breath. Ah, you're done. That's not the best, but it's fine. So we can bring out you for the next batch. Uh, let's go... One, two, three. Because, hey, we can get you some meter here. Can you do 10,000 in a single hit? Nope. I know it won't be huge damage in the next one, but I might as well give it a try. Okay. Merlin. Get as much as you can. And do some of that. Okay. Because we're up to him now. Is he a... Nope. I was going to say, is he going to be alone? But it's good, because then he has a group with him. Now. Chance to reduce... Oh, there's 30 left. Jeez. Okay. I see. Um. Okay. Well. Let's start by taking out these guys, then. Right? Do as much as we can. Um, I'm going to hold on to that there, but I'll, I will pop this just because I don't think we're going to have you guys out for too long. And pop a big attack up. Okay, so let's go. One, two, to definitely kill the one at the back. Then, uh, once you get to the one at the front, you should be able to hit him there. We'll try. Okay, and 
Hopefully we hit him at least for a little bit. That'd be nice. Aw, oh, he evaded. How do you evade that? You slip in between the finger cracks, my dude? Oh, that's a bad matchup. Whoops. Aiming EX. Nice. Good. Um, Let's do this. And then we can go... One... Two, three... Kill the Dawun. So he is single target. It's good to note. Good to point out that we lost our mash, but that should be fine. Okay. Oh well. I was gonna say we should get a one of our other dudes out. Looks like we will now. Okay, Parvati, that's good. You know what? Let's actually do the switch right now. There we go. The nice thing is you're in the back, pretty much all charged up with a lot of HP if we need that later. So, let's go with... Um, try and get more healing on you. That'd be nice. Plus, get through these evades. Okay. Furry's Hunter. The nice thing is I can... I do have a CE that gives sure hit. So I can worry about that in the future. Uh, let's go... How many do you have left? Tw 28! 28! So it only works when they're actually hit? Oh, that sucks. I'll start by popping this. One, two, three. Get as much as you can. Okay. At least we are doing good damage here. Like when we do hit. Well, that apple has been certainly hit. So next time he does it, we can pop um the other one. The um. Ooh, that's some that's some big numbers. Next time he does it, we can try the um, stun and see if that works. Hopefully it can. Hopefully he has no anti-stun stuff, because that would be annoying. Don't miss. Dang it, don't miss. Dang it! Does one of your things give sure hit? I think it might. Let's see here. Uh, increase defense, noble phantasm, and max HP up. Nope, increase your gauge. Random effects. Let's try a big dumb combo with you. As best as we can. Right? Because you got some good stuff. Yeah, let's try that there. Because all we need is one really good hit, right? So let's give this a shot. We just need to need to hit hard, you know? Come on, don't miss. Dang it. Dang it. You hate to see it. Dang it. Good. Instant break. That's what we're here for. Are you getting burned out? Okay, only on him. That's good. Jeez. Jeez, that damage. Calm down, sir. Okay. Um... I don't think we can get it anymore, right? Because it maxed out at 10? Yeah, can be only applied up to 10. So let's pop this to get your meter and start you up again. Right? And then let's go... We can get you to 100, I think. Yep. Okay. Give this a shot. 
We got the stun still, so let's go one, two, three. Come on, baby. Let's get that charm and or hits, period, would be nice. Don't miss. What did I say? Oh, and it missed the charm too. Come on. Come on. Okay. Alright. So let's try to stun you. Good. So let's go one, two, three. We're gonna get you with these crits, boy. Yeah, that's what I want. Wow, you're at 100 again. Very nice. Okay. Does your chance increase with overcharge? No, that does. Medium chance. Okay, so you know what? Let's, let's be silly. Let's do... One, two, three. We'll give this a shot to see if the overcharge will give us, hopefully, some big stuff. Alright, hit. 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 Dang it! Come on! Alright. Can you aim for Pro- Aim? Aim for King Protea. That's not Protea. Are you dead? No, you're not. Good. Nearly, though. Now you are. Okay. Okay. Um... I think our best bet's gonna try and get big dumb crits, huh? Hey, well, those all hit, which is quite nice. Okay, alright. Um, so we can do a big dumb combo with you, and that, that'll give you enough for your super next turn. Oh, it's just these misses, man. The RNG be like, stop enjoying the game. Okay. All right. We can then do a self-buff with this. Might as well try. Do our best. Get a combo. Hit as much as we can! And the nice thing is we have an invincible with her, which should be good in case she's last woman standing. Come on. Hey, it hit. Finally. It hit and it overkilled. Get out of here. Nice. That was slightly worrying, slightly concerning. Damn it, none of my attacks are like Yeah, that was my problem too. Every time I think we hit him, he slips out of reach again. He's just too damn good at controlling the positioning. Oh, he was using wind to move, okay. I can't read his arrow's trajectory. It's taking everything I have just to defend against them. He must be using the Wind God's power to control their flight path. I can't even tell where he's firing from. This must be what it's like to be a cornered animal, but we can't let him bring us down. It bears asking, I think. Can you draw his fire toward you like you did before? I don't think so. The situation is too different. At this point, there's no way I could reverse concentrate all the different possibilities, no matter how I push the goddess's divine core. I see. I'm not sure why that is, but I'm glad to hear it all the same. At least now, we won't have to rely on a cowardly strategy where you end up hurt. And all I can do is stand back and watch, anger at myself for being so helpless. There you go again. Hang on, Lady Lakshmi, I'll help you. Stop, that won't work on him. Any non-mystic attacks will just... 
Ah, uh, he's dead. Damn, sorry about that. It was in order to hurt any civilians, but I couldn't help the reflex to return fire when you shot at me. I have to say, though, it's pretty impressive for a homemade crossbow. Even so, you shouldn't go around firing it at a real hunter. Damn it. There has to be some way we can defeat him. Find out next time on Let's Play Fate Great Order. I'm Kyle A. Bear. Oh, just an archer, huh? Looks like we have the real fight ahead of us. As I kept walking, I kept getting more and more anxious. What if... Oh, what if Father ends up dying? He remembered my birth anniversary and everything. He said he would celebrate it with me. And for just an instant, I'm pretty sure he even patted my head earlier. What do I do? How can I make sure everyone ends up happy? Is there any way for my father to get better, the Kali to go away, and all of us to go on to the next Yuga together? Then I remember the nice travelers, the one who seemed like gods but aren't. Oh, she's gonna die. If the only thing I can do is pray, I'd rather pray to them. Besides, they know all sorts of things. Maybe they'll even know how to fix my father's injury. I'll go look for them. Oh, she's gonna get caught in the crossfire. I didn't know what was going on, but I could tell that the travelers were in trouble. It's really surprising, but I can't just stand around in shock. The man attacking the travelers must be one of the bad gods someone told me once about. Honestly, I still don't know what the difference is between bad gods and good gods, but I definitely don't want the travelers to die. I have to do something. Ugh. Something fell to the ground in front of me. I know what this is. I saw the grown-ups practicing with them. You just squeeze this part and it shoots an arrow. Could I use this to help? Maybe if I can help the nice travelers, they can help my father. Uh-oh. She's got a gun! This is not gonna go good. Oh, he instinctively fires back. Is that... Oh no, Asha, stop! Someone else foolish enough to shoot at a seasoned hunter? Time to show them what happens when... Huh? I can't pull the trigger. What are you doing? Didn't you fight to protect children? Yeah, we all know your story. Do we? Come on, William. Don't you remember your son? Don't you remember how you had to shoot that apple off his head to save him from that jerkwad of a vote? Listen, I'm a hardcore gamer, so I may not know much about outside my wheelhouse, but I know this. Shooting a kid is the one thing William Tell should never, ever do. My son? What are you talking about? <clears throat> I can't believe it. His memories must have been deemed useless and erased. I don't know what's going on, but at least he finally stopped moving around. Now's our chance. Don't worry, Asha. My impressive girth can function as a more impressive meat shield. This is the opportunity we've been waiting for. Come on, Master. It's time to finish this. Hopefully he doesn't evade all the time now. If not, I'll put on a craft essence that lets me get around that. Um, see, I can't use you. That'll come later. Uh, Enuma Elish. Do you have... No, you don't have a sure hit. I think you have sure hit, though, right? What's this on here? Special attack divine. I think that might count because you have the divinity. So let's give that a shot. Okay, so let's go with kill archer. So we got you guys. We got that. Yeah. Except let's uh, bring in... Let's switch you out for our boy Moylan. No. Let's try this this out instead. Because honestly, you'll be you'll be doing stuff there. And we'll give those to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Any of these have sure hit? Let's see here. I don't think any of these do. For shine... You know what? I um, actually kind of liked having Gander and buff allies, so we'll stick with this for now. Even if I don't do the switch out, I'll just do this. Uh, okay, let's go. Finish this off. It's literally telling me sure hits there. I just realized. Holy crap. 
Oh, your noble phantasm is blocked, huh? Don't mind if I do. Pepe's hologram rose, defense down. Very nice, very good. So let's start with uh, generating sea stars. And let's go with one, two, three to gain as many as we can, because I want big dumb crits. Forty-five is a nice number. That's pretty much everyone getting a bunch, huh? Ow, that damage, though. Um, so we don't have a full good combo here, but that's fine, because we can still hurt them. Um, this'll go... So you won't get any Noble fan. Oh, well, this kind of sucks, huh? Well, let's immobilize you then. Why not? Let's use a turn to get as much meter as we can. Right? You got a hundred... 26? Is that an, uh, not enough for a full, full, full combo, but enough to hopefully moiderize you. Quick up. And, um, buff allies. Let's do a full combo. One, two, three. Oh, another stun. Nice. If we could just keep stunning him, that'd be great. Oh, we hit the break gauge. Oh, we'll get some bonus here. Nice, 45 again. My boy's stunned, I'll figure it out later. Noble, okay, so he, so his Noble Phantasm's strength is down, so he's got it back, which is good to know, because now we can actually worry about that after. Okay. Okay. Alright. Alright. Um, so let's go... Uh... Let's go one, two, three. Because we don't have to worry about his noble phantasm if we get up to 100%, which we won't, unless you hit her a couple times. Wouldn't mind that. Hit the top one. Yay! You fool! You've literally doomed yourself. Holy crap, you're so stupid. You're so dumb. What do you give on overcharge again? Restore HP up. Oh, remove deep weight. Uh, overcharge is HP up. Sure. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Let's go one, two, three. Nice. We're going to literally say nope to your super. Uh, I'm holding in a sneeze right now. I hate that feeling. I actually love sneezing. Like, for real. It feels so good to clear your body out of everything. Good stuff, team. Alright. Um, let's go with... Let's see here. Let's go... One. Two. I just go one, two, three. Get those, get those big crits. Not really. I mean, we get a few. Thank you for bringing us up to 100. I love it. Hit that vine. Hit that. Uh, does this give a buff? I think it does. Sea Star Gather Up. That's what I want. That's what I want. You're so screwed. Holy crap. You're so screwed. Let's go, gamers. Send him to the sky. Hit that stun. God, Skahawk is really good. She's really good. She's a really good Lancer. Nice. Well, looks like William Tell. It's over. For sure. <laughs> Ugh. 
You failed to shoot the quarry you were hunting, our master, and you almost shot a child instead. What a shame. You are no longer William Tell, the heroic archer engraved in the throne of heroes. You are nothing more than an ordinary hunter at the mercy of a god. Be gone, William Tell, before you are past redemption. Ugh. What an awful fate, having your only defective... Having only your defective memories erased. I don't even want to think about what I'd be like if that happened to me. This battle isn't over just yet. Finish him. I'm well aware. Huh? This really pisses me off. Oh, it says Vodamin. I'm still not done with my last job, but what I could just ignore all this crap. Damn it all, it makes me real angry that you guys had the bad luck to be here when you have nothing to do with the beast I was chasing. I'm actually a little salty that it's like, all right, another battle. Let's go. It's like, can we not finish the guy off? Please. Please. All right. Well, I feel like this is going to go on for a little bit and my butt is Mundo Sore. So in that case, thank you all for watching, guys. We'll see you next time for section 14 and probably 15. Those who laugh during the end of the Yuga. Will we have to fight us, Vodamin? Probably. We'll see you next time, guys. Ciao.